don't got no label She say she want bottles She ain't got no table She don't got no bed frame What's up Ocean? You got Matt here Coach of your Montreal Milotic Bringing you our week 7 battle for the ICBA Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's week 7 Last week we got um, demolished by the OP Jellicent, Sohan By the way, congratulations on hitting 1,000 subscribers um, But yeah, so we got demolished And I kind of want to come into this week playing a bit better But I did have my last week's game a little bit late and because of that, I had to kind of push this week's game a little bit late. So I had it very, very um, close to the deadline, or after the deadline, actually. And um, it ended up really sucking, because I had to play on Showdown. And, um, yeah, just because I kind of forgot my 3DS at Julia's house. And, uh, I mean, well, uh, that kind of sucks there. Anyways, so because of that, we are playing on Showdown this week. But that's okay. We are facing off against the New York Metagross, coached by Ultra Player, aka Josh. Now, Josh is pretty good. We always play... A lot of really good games. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because in the first game we played, I believe I T-Wave Paral- I'm sorry, sorry, I Thunderbolt paralyzed him and he couldn't get an attack up with his Lele, which let my Raikou just set up for free on that thing. Um, another game we had, I crit his Clef Key and I parried something else, I believe, and because of that, I like beat his Clef Key, which was setting up and would have would have 6 would 6 would me. There we go. And uh, this week I am bringing a bit of yellow magic, but I kind of have to because I don't have a choice because this team is really good. So our opponent has a team of Celesteel with Zemus, Salamis with Zemus, Mesprit, Gliscor, Mega Gardevoir, Chestnut, Volcanion, Lycanroc, Dusk, Drapion, Licky Licky, and Vigavolt with Zemus. Now we did make some transactions from last week that I didn't think were going to be active, so I had to rebuild my team, which kind of sucks, but it's not a big deal because the changes weren't that big. It actually, one of them actually really helped me a lot. The other one was like, well, the shit. I just kind of beat him, beat his entire team with Galley if he didn't uh, do that trade, but whatever. So uh, let's just get into the roster that we have. We have Battle Bomb Greninja with Zemus, Latios with Zemus, Blacephalon, Ferrothorn, Gligar, Mandibuzz, Silvalli, Ditto, Electivire, Masquerade, and Mega Gallade. Now, going into this game, I felt like I need to have a couple threats. Um, well, I need to stop a couple of his threats. The big thing that I really want to stop was his Volcanion and his Gardevoir. So because of that, I'm bringing two Pokemon that I kind of had to bring, and I didn't really feel like it was necessary for me to bring them, but I really need to bring them just in case. So uh, I'll just get into that after, but to start off, we have Texas Man here, our Mega Gallade, which is Ice Punch, Drain Punch, Swords Dance, and Knock Off. Basically, the speed is there to speed tie with a Lycan Rock Dusk. That's pretty much it. Once we speed tie with that thing, if we can beat it down. When I had Close Combat originally, but I swapped it out for Drain Punch, because I could set up on the Celesteela, as he goes through the Air Slash or the Acrobatics, whatever it is, I Drain Punch, get a ton of health back, and then I'd be fine. And I could also get some help back against Licky Licky, which I'm assuming is going to be max special defensive to take on my um, my Battle Bomber Ninja. There we go. So yeah, next up though we have Sohan's Dragon, our Latios. Uh, brief name change from your dragon to your dragon last week because we did play Sohan, but uh, we are Roost, Ice Beam, Thunder Wave, and Thunderbolt. We have enough special defense. I'm going to make sure I have this right. I'm going to go into my notes. We have enough special defense for so that we're not too KO'd by any modest specs attack from Volcanion after rocks and burn damage, except for him power ice. We have Roost for longevity, ice beam because he has a ton of ice weak mons, T Bolt for Steel Out, Volcanion, and other chip damage, and then uh, T Wave to power threats like the Gardevoir and the Lycan Rock. Our speed is there for Gardevoir, Creeping, Max Speed, Still Valley. I don't think he'll be faster than that, and I think he's gonna be Trick Room if he's not if he's if he's not running that spread, he'll be Trick Room. So yeah, that's kind of it kind of allowed me to have a bit more uh, leniency with my EVs, which is useful. But anyways, moving on though, we have Ashley, our Greninja, our Battle Bomb Greninja with Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump, and Water Shuriken. I originally was going to have, um, I believe it was, I believe it was going to be Low Kick or Gunk Shot, I think I was about, I was assigning between the two of them, but so, over Guard. Well, let me try that again. I was originally going to, originally going to have Dark, not Dark Pulse, Low Kick or Gunk Shot. Oh my god, what was with me today? Over the Dark Pulse, but because he had the Mesprit, I kind of had to run Dark Pulse, and that's kind of unfortunate because it did take away from a little bit more. It made some almost walled by the special defensive Licky Licky, I have to fire off a Z Hydro Pump at it to be able to like do over 50% to it, which is insane. But uh, yeah, our speed is there, so we can we have enough speed for Lycan Rock upon our Battle Bond. Water Shuriken is there because um, if we aren't, sorry, if we if we aren't Battle Bonded yet, then I'll go for the Water Shuriken and that way we'll KO the uh, Lycan Rock. Done. Um, we, are, we are also walled by a certain Mega Gardevoir set. Um, yeah, and it kind of sucks because I probably would have ran the Gunk Shot to deal with that thing, but I mean, I was debating between Gunk Shot, gunk shot and Low Kick, so whatever would have been, whatever. Anyways, moving on though, we have Pedro Lucian, our Silver Valley Steel, we have Parting Shot, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Roar, we have a, a set that doesn't die to Timid Hyper Voice or Psy Shock into Timid Focus Blast. The speed is there for, well, Speed Creepers, randomly, and uh, the last move I was debating a long time between Roar, Tailwind, 
multi-attack, not multi-attack, uh, flash cannon, there we go. So I was really debating between that, but I, I really had no idea what I wanted to bring for the last move, so I brought Roar just in case he was a Calm Mind, um, a Calm Mind sub Mega Gardevoir with like Trick Room or something and like Hyper Voice, because that thing could still rip through my entire team, which is insane to think about. But anyways, moving on though, we have our Ditto here, Nacho with Transform. Uh, the IVs are there because I want to have Hidden Power Ice because he has a lot of Ice Sweet Pokemon, and that's why I'm running Hidden Power Ice IVs, and yeah. And then finally we have Burr Crazy, our Blissephalon, with the Charity Berry. I believe this is the first time we're not running a Flame Charge set. We have Mind Blown, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Flamethrower. A lot of this team is really weak to this thing, so I want to leave this thing and just fire off powerful hits turn one. Maybe a Mind Blown, maybe uh, go for a Calm Mind if I think he's going to switch out. Flamethrower even could be good. I know a uh, Flamethrower into Mind Blown will Oko the uh, Drapion if he is max, um, max HP, max Special Defense, which is another set that I see him potentially bringing. So uh, yeah guys, that's our team. Let's get into the battle. Alright, so here we are back with the battle. As you can see, our opponent brought a team of Mesprit, Mega Gardevoir, Salamence, Drapion, Celesteela, and Licky Licky. I expected the Licky Licky, the Drapion, the Gardevoir, and the uh, Mesprit. Didn't really see the Salamence or the Celesteela coming, but you know what? It's cool. Like, I don't see them as that big of a threat. But basically, I know the, the Mesprit is going to be, um, not, 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 not knockoff, Culberberry. That way he can take a plus two knockoff and survive that hit, get up rocks, paralyze me, psychic, whatever it may be. Um, yeah, the Gardevoir, I'm assuming, is going to be Trick Room or a, um, like I said before, a uh, like a four attacks set, I assume. Salamence, if he's not in Tomatia, I think he's going to be Scarf, but if he's Scarf, then that, that's pretty good for us because we can just send in our Ditto and Revenge that thing, pretty much beat his entire team once the Gardevoir is gone. His Drapion, I assume, is going to be Assault Vest. Um, the Celesteela, Assault Vest came up in a mock, but I didn't think he was going to be actually Assault Vest. I thought it was going to be maybe Wakanberry to deal with all the Electric type moves that would be coming his way. And then the Licky Licky is going to be max special defense, I know for sure. So yeah guys, let's get into the battle. I'm going to lead off here with my Blissephalon, try and punch a hole in his team right away. And he's off with the Celesteela, so I was thinking about this move for a long time. Because I thought he was going to switch out to something, maybe the um, the Drapion. I didn't want to die to a Pursuit Trapping Drapion or something like that. So I was thinking, okay, I can go for the Flamethrower, then I can go for the Mind Blown Oak with that thing. He's not going to stay in and take like at least 60% from this thing. But uh, you're going to see, he actually stays in, and he only does 50% to it. And that shows me he is actually an Assault Vest Celesteela. That he has to be an Assault Vest Celesteela, and he gets a special defense boost there too. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I go into my Galliard here. I'm going to click the Swords Dance, and in comes the Mesprit. And at this point, I'm going to slow this down because it feels kind of fast. But I go for the knockoff here, and we do actually knock off the Culberberry, doing about half to him. And he's going to go for the Acrobatics. So my play of wanting to go for the Ice Punch there would have been really good, because he would have done like less than that to us, but... I mean, Ice Beam plus Knockoff didn't KO, which is unfortunate, but I have to start to look for that. But he goes into his Drapion, and I think he's going to be Scarf by the way he brought this in. So I'm going to go into my Soul Valley Steel, and he's going to go for the Knockoff, and Knockoff is going to do pitiful damage to us. So I can freely go for the Parting Shot, but I wish I had gone for the Thunderbolt there, because uh, you're going to see he actually goes into his Celesteela, and I could have done a decent amount of damage to that thing. But I go into my Lydios here, I'm going to click the Thunder Wave here, predicting the Gardevoir to come in actually. But uh, he stays in, and he's going to fire off a Heavy Slam, and that does a decent chunk of damage to me. And uh, at this point, I can just go for the Thunderbolt here. I'm planning to try and hit something. I go for the Thunderbolt. In comes the Drapion. And uh, would you look at that, guys? We go for the Thunderbolt, and we paralyze him. So the Yellow Magic that has played Ultra against us is coming back to bite him again. And uh, yeah, it uh, doesn't stop there, guys. So he goes into his Gardevoir. I click the Roost to get back to full health. I think he's going to go for the knockoff. And I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave now because I know I want to make sure this thing is paralyzed. There's no way, there's no way I need to be in a world where he's not paralyzed. He goes for the Hyper Voice though, and he Oko's us straight up, fine by me, whatever, it doesn't matter. This thing did its job, paralyzed three members of our opponent's team. So uh, I go into my Ditto now, and Ditto is going to transform to the Gardevoir. I'm going to click the Hyper Voice, in comes the Celesteela. Now, Assault Vest Celesteela takes 16% from a Mega Gardevoir's Hyper Voice. That's fine by me, I'm going to switch out now. I want to stay in, thinking he's going to go for the um, the uh, Earth, the Ground Move, but he actually goes for Super Power, and um, it's a shit thing that I didn't stay in, because that did a ton of damage to us. I go for the Thunderbolt there, and he's actually going to get paralyzed one more time right here. So we are in, it just, we're just haxing Ultra to death, and it, it down goes the Celesteela. And look guys, this is kind of ridiculous, because we have just hacked them like crazy. But in comes the Salamence, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, just in case he goes for the Dragon Dance here. I have to go for that. He is not Scarf, I don't think he is at least, because he uh, doesn't have the, um, the, what is it called? Um, Moxie, there we go. But yeah, go into my Greninja here. And Greninja can threaten this thing out with the Ice Beam, so that's exactly what I'm going to go for. And my laptop is overheating, damn. So um, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam here, and he's actually going to switch out into his Licky Licky, what I expected. And uh, this does absolutely nothing, and we freeze him. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Josh. Um, I feel really bad about this because I I really hacked this man. And yeah, we're, we're 16 turns into the battle, I've paralyzed three of his Pokemon, and I 
froze his other with a 10% chance of freeze. This is insane. Anyways, I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump here because this is the best I can do to him. I don't want him to like start like wishing up, getting like unthawing now. So he's gonna go in back to his Salmon, so great play. I go for the Hydro Pump here, and uh, we do a decent chunk of damage to him. At this point, I can go for the Ice Beam, because I know he's not gonna be Scarf. And thankfully, he stays in, sacks off his Salamence, and we get our Battle Bond activated, and Greninja picks up its first kill in the match. So he's gonna now send in his Guard War here, and he's probably gonna go for the Trick Room, but I can't afford to stay in. And, whoops, my phone just went off. I can't afford to stay in. So I switch out, and I go into my... Uh, guard where he, my ditto here, and it's a good thing that I did that because I was really debating going for the Hydro Pump there, but thankfully he did go for the, Hydro, for the Hyper Voice there and not for the Trick Room because now I can go and fire off a second Hyper Voice and, uh, well, a first Hyper Voice and do about 60% of this thing, and he's gonna, like, not get paralyzed and go for the Trick Room there. He's gonna outspeed now, go for the Hyper Voice, take us out, and at this point, guys, we are in a really bad spot. I go into my Galliot hoping he's gonna get uh, paralyzed, and um, he does not. He's gonna Oko us with the Hyper Voice. And at this point, I have just my Greninja left. I have to basically, I'm going to pause it. Basically, the only way I can win this game is if I paralyze, sorry, is if his Gardevoir is paralyzed and can't move, and his uh, Drapion, because I'm assuming he's going to go into the Drapion first, is paralyzed and can't move. That's the only way I can win this game. So, I go for the Hydro Pump, and he is paralyzed, of course, and we are going to O-Code the Gardevoir. And um, right there, guys, that's pretty much going to be game, because we hacks out our opponent. Um, I go for the Hydro Pump one more time. He gets paralyzed again here. It, it, I don't think it would have KO'd us with anything, but we missed our Hydro Pump, so it, whatever. But still, it, it doesn't change the fact that we pretty much won this game because of all of our luck. I go for the Hydro Pump again, we take out the Drapion, and then finally in comes the Licky Licky. Licky Licky will go down to a Dark Pulse into a Z Hydro Pump, so I go for the Dark Pulse here. As he probably went for Protect, I'm assuming there. Um, so, yeah. And then I'm gonna go for the, hydro pump, the Z Hydro Pump here. Um, and yeah, so we are gonna be able to uh, take out Josh here and pick up a 1-0 win that we really, really didn't deserve. We did not deserve to win this game, guys. I thought my prep was pretty good. I think Josh's prep was just better. I just didn't have anything on my roster for Calm Mind, not for Calm Mind, for, it was Trick Room, Hyper Voice, uh, HP Ice, Willowist, Mega Guard War. I had nothing for that. So, um, yeah, I, I did not deserve to win this game, guys. We had win this game great. Um, but yeah, I feel really bad because there's no way in the world we deserve to win this game, guys, at all. But anyways, GG to Josh, guys. Make sure to go check him out. His link will be in the description below, just like the rest of the coaches in the ICDA. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, of course. We are inching closer and closer to 400 subscribers, and I would love for you guys to be part of this journey. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.